ALO and welcome back. It's morning on a biz. It's the next day. I'm here to get my daily dose of dopamine rush. I have um watched the last episode, like that weird frame drop I had in the middle at around 30 minutes. It went away, but um I've hopefully fixed the issue. And we're gonna have a good time. It's always a good you know that song. Um I like I just don't like Lucas. It's been a while since I played Matt, I guess. Matt can roll like fish. Um, thank you, Vlambeer. So I did purchase this. I don't know if I did this on sh the um recording last episode, but uh, I got this after you activate all the portals against some eggs, and the more pets you have, the more bullets you fire. So um, when we activate all the portals, we will get some egos, which we will use to build some Legos. Uh, so I gotta record some more basically is a uh, gist of why I'm here right now. I haven't looked up any news I don't have any reference material. This is all just top of the dome piece We're gonna be using that dome piece to help us get further in this episode because lately I've been uh, Not doing the best in terms of like, gameplay Not that you know Saying you guys necessarily care about that because the amount of views I'm obtaining per video Isn't referential to the amount of talking I'm doing per episode if I had a penny for every time this guy complained about his views, I would be rich. Yep, you would be. We're gonna kill the octopus first, let ourselves get some breathing room. Breathing room. Spirits Abyss has gone up on YouTube uh, earlier in the week. That's a series that I had a lot of fun playing. Each time you kill an enemy, your weapon bullet increases. I mean, that's a pretty good item. That's a series that I had a lot of fun playing. I enjoy the game a lot. Um, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I'm not, I've never been like a huge Metroidvania person, but it's also like Spelunky-esque in its nature. The gameplay is overall, like, it feels crisp. It's it's nice to move around. It doesn't feel like, you know, if I mess up, it feels like my fault. I didn't have to mess with the control scheme. I've talked about it a little bit in the game, but I think overall the game itself plays very well. I think um, it's a lot better than I had given it credit for is how I'll put it. Because I went into it with, I guess, no expectations. I hadn't seen anything on the game. I hadn't heard anything about the game. And, you know, uh, so far I've come out with pretty good expectations. I only have four episodes recorded uh, today, the day I am recording this. This will probably go up Saturday, maybe. I'm just taking a random guess. Um, maybe like Sunday. But today I have, uh, what's the word? Four episodes recorded. So I got to get some more recorded because we just did episode three. <clears throat> and so far it's been going pretty well. I have another game I also wanted to play. Uh, and I think Monster Train is also gonna be getting an update soon. I didn't play Monster Train on the last update. Um, so I haven't played Monster Train in a while. I haven't played it since the last update and they're doing another major update, I believe. So it would be pretty cool to go back to Monster Train and maybe play that. I don't know, maybe if you guys are up for it seeing some monster train i know everyone and their mother played monster train when it came out so it's probably not like the most entertaining game to watch somebody play now their monster train i don't know i just enjoyed the game i thought monster train was really fun one of the most fun things i've played since uh slay the spire in terms of the card the deck building genre I do think um, Chrono Arc was really fun too, though. I, I gotta give Chrono Arc some props. Chrono Arc was a good game. I think Chrono Arc just... I mean, when it gets all its updates, it's definitely gonna be up there for me, like, when it actually comes out. And it seems like they're willing to get the game to come out because they've been putting quite a bit of effort into it. And uh, it's nice to see the progress that goes into it. I haven't seen an update from them in a while, but I still have high hopes. I guess I shouldn't have high hopes, right? If you keep your hopes low, then when you're let down, um, you don't feel anything. But if you keep your hopes high and you're let down, then you'll be like, I've been let down. 
substantially. I've been, I, I think we've all been there, right? Part of a game that got um, crowdfunded or kickstarted or something like that. They're in early access. or like, we have high hopes. We're going to make a game that basically plays itself. It has an AI that does everything for you. And you just get to enjoy the fact that it's going to make constant world building. And then you go, oh, dude, this sounds epic. I'm going to support this game. So you start supporting this game. And then they're like, yeah, uh, pre-order freaking houses. Then you pre-order the house, and you're like, I can't wait to live in my house. And the game dies, and they take your money and run. Not calling anybody out with that statement, but I may be calling my brother out. <laughs> it's, not, it's not his fault. I also had a bad influence in him at the time, because we thought the game was going to come out for sure. Don't even remember the name of that game. But that's basically how like early access games used to work. Now they're all on Steam called early access, and you can see the like that they haven't updated in the last 16 months, and go like, yeah, you haven't updated in the last 16 months. Why would I want to be interested in your game? I can't believe I took damage there, by the way. I just didn't even think about rolling. Let's get in there. Get aggressive with it. You gotta be aggressive. Be be aggressive, as they said. For my mom's cheerleader motto, back when she was in school. It's not weird, it's just facts. Upgrade your weapon. Alright, so upgrading my weapon seemed to give me a fire rate up there. I could tell. I could feel the difference. But I, like, now I feel like everyone throws their early access game on Steam. Back in the day, they had their own like weird website. With a horrible form. I don't know. I used to follow all kinds of games like that. A lot of them were MMORPGs with extremely idealistic philosophy, and they would never come out. Because it's just not, it's just not gonna happen, you know? It's extremely rare that, like, an MMORPG made by, like, an indie company ever gets released, because, for one, you gotta deal with server problems. You know, server problems are probably some of the biggest problems you could face on just a normal basis. Then you gotta deal with, like, actually making the game so i mean th this is very tempting to me we'll come back to it if we get a key so you got to deal with like actually making the game oh goodness i'm gonna take this it's been a while since i've actually taken this i feel like so we're gonna take this so you got to make the game sorry you got to program everything i know i said that like six times program everything you gotta have people play test the game you gotta have enough variety in the game that people want to play it then you got your ambitions and depending on your ambitions that's impossible like I'm gonna make a game that has a um, an ever-changing world. Yeah, uh, how are you gonna do that? I mean, like, good luck, really, is m my only statement because I don't know what your plans are for that. I hope you can achieve it. That'd be great, but it just doesn't seem practical. You know, half of them are like extremely idealistic and impossible statements. Excuse me. But they like they want AIs to be characters, and then they explain it to you like each AI has a tag, and that tag is gonna give the AI the ability to adapt. And when you interact with them, they'll get new tags, and those tags will change how the AI interacts. I mean, like that's cool and all, but first you gotta make it, and like show me that it can work, and that the project is not gonna die within two days. Just saying. No, I'm sorry. It's too late to apologize. Anyways, the moral of the story is um, don't count your chickens before they have hatched. In fact, it's a pretty simple moral to a pretty simple story. You know, you've all heard it before. He got that coin. He's a monster. I didn't want to let him have it. No, I could have rolled there too, but jumping was also fine. I mean, this gun is fun. I like the sheer amount of chaos this gun brings to the table. It's a nice change of pace, you know? Uh, if we get a double jump, we'd be able to get up there. So let's play it smart and just see our item room first. Because you never know what's going to be in here, right? Might as well give it a shot. So you got a gun and a lollipop messenger or saturn lollipop i mean you gotta take saturn lollipop 
that's the answer because we already have the egg synergy going on um i think the saturn lollipop there is just gonna be more fun choice i don't even really remember what the messenger does so if i'm being honest with you i don't want to take it because i have no idea what it does now we're really deficient in terms of um consumables my consumables have been extremely low this run so what we're gonna do is go to the shop go to the shop see what you got uh you actually do have a key in here so i think getting a key is the wise thing to do i gotta stay up to date with my consumables i know that that's like the bloody crown from isaac but also not because it doesn't have the same stats it doesn't do the same thing they're different items but they look the same so sam you don't scare me sam the only thing that scares me is my inability to dodge damage Add extra bullets per shot and increase your weapon's range. I'm actually a huge fan of this. Weapon's range would be pretty nice for this. So we're actually good to go. Move on to the next floor. We haven't gotten a single special room. It's been a quick run. I mean, 11 minutes room uh, floor three. I see that bomb door up there in my OBS recordings as I'm looking over to the left, taking a sip of my coffee. Gotta make sure the recording is still going because I had that issue a couple of times at the start of my recording career. But now here we are. We're a lot further in than, you know, I expected the particular to get. I haven't really expected a large fan base. I'm just enjoying making videos, you know? It's more so for myself. We've well, talked about that before. I don't really want to get into it again, the philosophy behind that. But, you know, I just hope then as I'm having fun, you guys also can have fun. This rune has turned to autopilot though. So it's back to me turning into preacher mode where I'm going to lecture myself. Uh, and also lecture the people that are watching. If anybody finds this in the future, just type I was here. I'll probably reply to it. <laughs> if it's like... I don't know, maybe... Three months in the future you find this, you watch it. And you happen to be at 12 minutes and 23 seconds. Just type I was here. I guarantee I'll reply to it. Well, guarantee is a strong word. I will guarantee that I might be able to guarantee something. That doesn't sound any better. So what are we looking for now on this run? Explosion immunity. We've taken a risky item. The risky item could backfire on us, but let's keep our hopes high. Okay, stay away from enemies now. You don't want to get too close. You know, six feet is the appropriate distance. Alright, flower. You hatch from an egg. How does it feel, flower? You feel like you understand the avians more now? There, the crystal was up there the whole time. I guess it doesn't matter because we were going towards violence anyways, unfortunately. Let's see what we got in the violence room. I don't think we really need to do violence. The thing with the violence is um, if you're weak, you want to do violence. If you're not weak, you don't want to do violence. We're going to take drilling warhead. It's a fire rate up and damage up. Overall, it's a good item. That's my consensus. It's a cat gun. I haven't had a cat gun too many times. I mean, it looks pretty nasty. I mean, like, look at that. What was the active and passive? Let me see. Drop random coins or bullets hit coins to make double or disappear. I don't really want to do that because right now I got grabber. I mean, he's going to grab a majority of the coins, and that's fine. You know? You do you, boo. Alright, good job. Just get a missile to blow up those rocks there. I'm going to take every advantage I can get because right now we're very HP deficient. An armor piece is very useful. Got another egg. Increase some fire. Right, baby. Well, I said I like that. When I'm playing in my free time, I actually um, I downloaded another game that I'm debating on whether or not I wanted to make a series on. I didn't talk about that. Uh, but also, like Madden came out recently, and I've been trying to get myself to play that. I played it a little bit, but... I kind of got like back in the swing, you know, once I get into the swing, then it's a lot easier for me to continue playing it. But when you're out of the swing, that's when it hurts because you don't necessarily want to like play. You're like, ah, well, I'm not used to playing. I haven't played in a while. I don't really remember the controls all that well. I probably should have gone to the teleporter room, by the way. Let me 
I blame myself on that fault because we could have been over there and just teleported back. But they um, have a new game mode called like the yard that I haven't even tried yet. I just gotta get used to the controls again. No. Oh, there's not that many controls, man. It's not that difficult. You wouldn't understand. I played so many different controls recently in games, it just feels insane. Like, every game I've played recently, I have to... Different control scheme set up. We got Mortal Shell that I'm playing on stream, which is... You know... Not the weirdest control scheme. I don't want to, like, say... The controls are awful in Mortal Shell, because they're not... That was really bad damage. So this is what the missiles are good for, is being able to shoot from down here at the bottom. And attack them like the Jaws movie. We have enough keys for that. 70 gold for like the piercing bullet every now and then, I think. It's not even that interesting. Alright, so let's go over. Red Rover. Dang, he swallowed that up. He was, like, ready for it. So, where do you think the secret room would be? Over here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see. We have an option over here. There could be a secret room. This is where it is, so that's good to know. It's the dance room, and I have two attempts at it. So, let me focus. A. Alright. We in there. But watch out. There's gonna be, like, two more. Alright. So we got the one. That's positive. That's a positive. We got Wade Tech. Can't complain. Wade Tech's good. Increase your fire rate. Upgrade your weapon. It killed the grabber. Thank you. Actually, thank you. I was scared there for a second because I looked away and it came super fast. All right, we got it. No, no, no. We got it. That's it for sure. Nice. Smithing hammer is another weapon upgrade. We're going to have a lot of crystals by the end of this run. I'll tell you that. Our fire rate's also starting to pop off. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uh, let's go over here. So our shop, we know where our shop is. It's over here. We have the gold to buy. We could buy the key gun. Now, I've never really had the key gun too many times. This is a debate for me, but you know what I'm actually going to buy is ghost bottle. Why am I going to buy Ghost Bottle? Because maybe we can get something fun to happen. You never know. I haven't really had a good run with Ghost Bottle ever pop off before. This is like an egg run. If it works with the missiles, though. The missiles. It says after bombs explode, but I'm assuming that doesn't count the missiles. Which is unfortunate, because it would be awesome. Dude, my fire rate just deems the amount of missiles flying in the air as incredible. No, you're kidding me. Shoot him in the sky. Shoot him in the sky. Can't even land, buddy. This is a no-fly zone. I got my anti-air missiles going. Alright. If I see you over foreign waters, you're getting shot. And by foreign waters, I mean my waters. And my swamp. Alright, that seems to be it for this floor. Let's give it a go. Get out of here. Um, it's a fighting room. It is. Very astute observation. I took damage there because of the missile. What did the missile hit? I don't know. It's Friday. Alright, Jason. I think Jason, that's Jason's favorite song. <laughs> you just sing that in the car on, like, his way over to camp he goes like it's friday friday gotta get down on friday i feel like i've just ruined the whole movie now well we have to do this i need health like i'm bleeding health i'm bleeding call an ambulance but not for me thank you actually it, it means a lot to me you have no idea the sheer amount of missiles I'm firing in random directions is insane. Alright, 
We got him for sure. The homing bullets, they're your friend. Also, Blue Doctor, he could be your friend, but don't trust him. All you gotta do is just make sure you don't lose your health. If you stay topped off, Blue Doctor is not a negative. If you're not topped off, Blue Doctor, he hurts you more than he helps you. But that's fine. Because you can recognize the problem. And make sure that you don't hit the door to the shop to make it evil. Uh, I guess I'm doing Ares. Not by choice. But by, you know, my own ineptitude. Let's run into it. Gladiator helmet is melee damage as you get hit, I believe. What is this gun? What is, what is this gun? I'm like, I'm interested. White Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that does this. This gun sucks. We've had a run with that gun before. Not a fan. I'm actually just not. I think there's um more fun guns, and that gun's kind of weird. The fun thing with that gun is the active item. Uh, or not the active item, the active effect. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to show you what I mean. So if I have like a lot of bullets, when you fire the energy ball, it's going to do that. The problem is the range with the energy ball is super low. So we're not going to be hitting a lot of things with the energy ball. If you kill things with the energy ball, though, you get your energy back. Oh, or your crystals, however you want to say it. So I guess we're just doing evil. The moment I saw the enemies in this room, I knew I was going to have to hit that crystal. It just, it had to happen. It was a byproduct. First time. For, um, I mean, first try. And I got two pennies back. Thank you. I actually only lost three pennies to um, satiate my curiosity. And now that I've satiated it, I'll never have to wonder what's in those chests again. We could get in there, and, I mean, like, why not if the missiles want to cooperate, or they'll just fire in whatever direction they want to. I mean, who am I to tell them what to do? Open up the item room we got over here. What are we at right now? 22 minutes? That's not too bad. We got a screwdriver. Chubs with the keys, but we don't really need that. We've kind of hit, um, overdrive in terms of that type of stuff. Is there any way, like, the missiles can find the secret room? I don't think so. Yeah, they kind of can't. Mmm, but Death Ray. Oh, dude, it's so big. But we just ran Death Ray, so... And the run was a breeze, let me tell you that. So what I'm actually going to do is not run Death Ray. Wouldn't be fair, it wouldn't be fun. It might be fun, but it wouldn't be fair. I got to... Spice it up, alright? When you take the same thing every run, it just gets old. Alright. You said so, Hot Rods. Devil Horn. Running out of items again, because I already picked up half the boss items in the pool. <laughs> take a sip of my coffee there. I don't know how the frame rate looks on this one. I'm like looking over at the side. It seems kind of framey. I apologize again if it's kind of framey. I mean, like on my end, I'm not getting any frames. I have no idea why it's doing this. I'm gonna have to work on the kinks here. So you can hit that. That's fine. Works like that. Now we're up here. This is definitely like extremely framey. I'm like looking at it on the OBS recording now and I'm, I apologize deeply for the amount of frames that is going on here. Why is it doing this? Can you just hit the freaking bear? I don't want to shoot the chest. You can't break chests. So what's the point of giving me the ability to shoot chests? Huh? Ever think about that one? Yeesh. I mean, you might as well take me, dude. Just take me to church. I'll go to the devil room if it means you just leave. Then I'll walk up there and probably pee. 
with the amount of HP I have left. I'm almost dead. Like now the frame rate looks better, but then the moment I shoot, the frame rate gets like worse. Let me see if I can maybe hold on a second. And I'm back. Nothing you missed. Maybe you didn't even notice, but it took me like two seconds to not fix anything because it tried to pause the stream and then see if it lets me fix it from there, but it doesn't. Not at all. So the next hit I take, I'm gonna die anyways, right? <laughs> every hit you take. It's supposed to be like every step you take. It's like a Christian rock song. If you don't know. Probably don't know, because no one really listens to Christian rock. <laughs> Not true. My mom listens to it all the time, but I don't. Good golly! My gracious! Oh, Captain, my Captain. Oh, Captain! How could you? That's rude. And for what? A drop of blood. This room looks terrifying. You wanna, like, chill out? I saw that. I saw that. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, my material gets really low whenever I am in a precarious situation. We gotta... We gotta stay calm, collected, and cool, Leo. You know, cool, Leo. Now we have the HP to even open the shop, but it's still risque. Oh, the frame rate seems to have gotten better all of a sudden. Why does it just go in and out? It's so weird. I'm like looking at it now on the side as I'm shooting, and it seems good. But why? What determined that? All right, now we shoot everything. The amount of keys I have is insane, though. I will say that. I mean, we have, like I said, the amount of keys I have is insane. Also, the amount of damage those zombie girls took. Zombie! Remember when everyone was obsessed with zombie stuff? Good times. Like The Walking Dead, and then The Walking Dead, you know, the TV show and the the game that was supposedly giving you choice but didn't really matter what you chose yeah that game then the last of us ah my goodness at least bring me down a heart if you're gonna do that i can't get it so you might as well do something um melee damage yeah not that good then you had um zombie U, the wii u game for zombies this was like at the peak of zombie popularity they're like what if we made a zombie game let me just preface this by saying zombie U was pretty fun if you haven't played zombie U, don't knock it before you try it that's what the epitome of zombie U is in my opinion because it was actually pretty freaking fun was it like the best zombie game or like the best zombie material of all time probably not but it was fun if the game's fun you can't complain too much about it right I'm trying to think of like what else they did for um zombie games at the time <laughs> what else did you do for fun uh, more zombies you know the usual oh uh, yes zombies I guess it was like Daisy um, but then didn't they didn't at the time Daisy end up doing battle royale and then battle royale became like a big thing and then you know, and then and then. Run on sentences and prepositions. You know how it goes. Now we're in the era of battle royales. I feel like there's been a lot more Metroidvanias lately too. At least that I've seen on Steam. Maybe, you know, you just see a lot of what you're recommended anyways. If you play a lot of roguelites, you're gonna get a lot of roguelite recommendations, which I do. And then you play one game of 5D chess, and Steam is like, dude, you played a game with time travel? We're gonna recommend all these time travel games. What? 
But it, it was just some chess, man. Also, here's chess games. By the way, I died because I can barely see any of the lines because I had so many bullets on the screen. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment down below. If you got anything you want to say about the zombie apocalypse that kind of died out, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.